Bob, I have children, more than yes. one or two or three, and uh, you've got a few children. Yes, Sam's got children. So yes. we know how hard it is to get kiddos up, ready, dressed, and out the door for school. Imagine getting six kids ready, though. Local family, no problem over here yeah. for you. Maybe we'll talk to Sam as well. <laughs> but this family now does every, this every single day after adopting three siblings. And that's adding to their current three children. KTAB's Abby Green met the family as they were on their way out the door this morning. For Jake and Aaron Mills, getting the kids ready for the school day can sometimes get chaotic. So we went just kind of overnight this last summer uh, from a family of five to a family of eight, a family with three kids to a family of six kids. Ten-year-old Xavier, nine-year-old Marie, and eight-year-old Christian joined the family after they were adopted from a local foster care. Now 13-year-old Kennedy, eight-year-old Joshua, and six-year-old Hannah Mills have three new siblings. And when they first walked through our door, this was just another foster placement. And um, so we had to just kind of break that to think, no, like, we want to keep you. After experiencing true chaos going through foster care, a good home was exactly what the siblings needed. Once we got to know them really good, it was really awesome. Although changing the family dynamic has been challenging, Jake Mills says there's plenty of love to go around. They've never been in a home that is, um, that, that is healthy, that has, you know, good boundaries and good rules and and where forgiveness is is a part of what we do and great we show grace um, but we also have consequences and things like that as an infant mom of the family Erin Mills was adopted as well from that and the experience of adopting right. kids of her own she developed a heart for foster care I was privileged to become a part of a, a foster care ministry here in Abilene and um, from that was birthed foster 325 Mills is the engagement director for the group that aims to get churches at least one foster family of their own and she says if they can do this we would have families waiting for kids rather than kids waiting for homes in Abilene with coverage you can count on Abby Green KTAB News mm, wonderful goal thank you Abby foster 325 has eight churches signed on with four families inviting children into their homes to make loving foster families forever families all right, more the merrier, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. What do you, <laughs> David? How, I'm sure it was a snap getting uh, Allison out the door in the morning. Oh, 